Uh, one important service that the BC Learning Network provides for teachers are um, discussion forums. Uh, they have discussion forums for kind of general topics, but they also have um, forums for most of the courses that we get through them. And there's a link right in the course only for teachers uh, that will take you directly to the, the discussion forum for that course. So if you've got a problem with a course or you're looking for an answer key or a worksheet or something like that, the chances are someone else has also had that problem and have already posted uh, the question and someone's got a solution for you there already. Now, um, to get to them from the main BCLN page, there's a link here that you just click and um, get to your login page that um, you log in with the login that you've probably already got by now. And it takes you to this page here that lists all the various forms. Um, and again, like um, that's one way to get to these forums, but you'll probably more likely just use the link in the course that you're in because that's you know when you're, you're probably going to get it. You can see there's there's quite a, a few of them here, and um, maybe I'll just go into one to show you what it looks like. Here's a list of all the different topics that people have um, had questions about, and you can see this goes all the way back to 2009. So you don't get a lot of um, stuff here, but the stuff you do get are things that you're going to come across in your course that, uh, you know, like maybe, well, look at the last one here, in March 2011, which is this month that I'm recording this in. You can see that um, someone's asking about answer keys, and um, there's a solution. That's where you order the answer keys for. There's some online, some that you have to order. So that's that's some useful information for you because, um, you know, you instead of stumbling around in the course, you're going, know, why doesn't this work, or where's that, or, or whatever, um, that's where the solution will be. Now, um, it's kind of a hassle to have to kind of go in there and look and see if someone's answered your um, queries, or, or um, maybe someone's already, you know, found a problem that you're going to find next week, and you don't even know about it until you go in there. So one thing you might want to do, uh, it's a really good idea, is to subscribe to whatever discussions um, that you're interested in. And the way you do that is you click on this forums link here, and it takes it again to a list of all the forums. And beside here, there's a yes or no. To subscribe to a forum, like say you're looking for a collaborator to work on Social 6 or something like that, you would just um, subscribe to that forum and the no changed to yes. So now you're going to see all that stuff there. You can post, you know, you can go into that forum, you can add a new discussion. Oh, someone's looking for Science 6 resources, so maybe you could just click there and well, I'm looking for a collaborator for Social 6, and that's all there is to it. So, um, and then if you find, oh, I don't want to belong to that forum anymore, again, you just click the yes, and now you're uh, switched to a no. Now, what will happen there is that any topic or, or question or solution or whatever someone has um, posted to the forums that you subscribe and now a link and a little brief um, you know subject line will go to your email so that uh, you'll know that that's there you can just click on it and it'll take you right to the forum so if you've asked a, a question someone answers bang what's in your email so that's a really useful way to do it and don't be afraid that you're going to be inundated by um, a whole bunch of um, emails. You can see there's not a lot of them, but when you get one, you're going to be really glad you, you subscribe to it. Um, and that's about it. So hope that's uh, useful. I uh, maybe you should go in there and right now and subscribe to a few forms.